Now let's briefly consider just what happens to load and store instructions. Just like we had data dependencies that go through registers, this is for example why we did register renaming to eliminate the false dependencies through registers and why we are doing uh, these reservation stations and so on in order to kind of obey properly the true dependencies, there can be dependencies through memory because loads and stores in this case are the only instructions that can have dependencies through memory, but there can be dependencies. A read after write dependence occurs if there is, for example, a store word to some address in memory, and then we do a load word from that address, then there is definitely a read after write dependence between the store and the load. Basically, the load uses the value put there by the store. We can also have a write after read false dependence. For example, we can have the program that first needs to load something, then store it. If we reorder these, then the load gets a value from the store, not the value from before. And finally, we can have a write after write dependence if there are two stores that store to the same address. The last one should kind of leave the value at the end of that sequence. But if we reorder them, then the value in the memory ends up being the kind of stale value from the first of the stores. So obviously, dependencies through memory need to be obeyed or eliminated just like the register ones do. So what do we do about these dependencies? In Tomasulo's algorithm, we do loads and stores in order. Basically, we don't try to reorder them. When, as we issue these instructions, we put them in the load or a store queue, and then we just follow the order of these instructions. So for example, a load doesn't execute if there is a previous store pending, even though maybe the load is ready to go, but the store still is waiting for something. The second option is to actually de identify dependencies between load stores, etc., and then reorder them just like we did normal instructions, etc., but this turns out to be more complicated than doing it for register-based dependencies, so we are not going to do that. And that's why for Tomasulo's algorithm, they chose not to do this for memory instructions, but they chose to do do it for other instructions. Modern processors actually do identify dependencies, reorder, etc., even for loads and stores, but uh, we will consider later how that is done. So, so for Tomasulo's algorithm, this was really kind of the you know, option that they chose.